Welcome, Dr. Call. Thank you for taking time to talk to us today. Can you tell us a little bit about how you got interested in team-based learning? Absolutely. I was at a conference um, for um, teaching in the field of general internal medicine and attended a workshop that Paul Hayda, um, who was at Baylor at the time, led. And it was introducing this new teaching technique. He ran the workshop utilizing TBL, and I got so excited about the experience that I had there. And at the same time, I was looking for a format to change my teaching in a residency program um, into a more active learning format. And it just really ignited my passion for TBL as a teaching and learning strategy, partially because I knew it would um, really meet our learners where they are and answer some of their needs, and partially because as a learner, it was one of the most safe environments and stimulating environments in which I had ever learned. I'm a very shy learner. And one of the really neat things that I don't think people appreciate about TBL is it creates an environment where you're more confident in what you're doing. And I felt more confident as a learner in that environment. So it really excited me about it, both as a learner, as a teacher. And from then, um, after running that study, I really have just taken off um, and really believe in, in um, the teaching strategy. What makes TBL so effective as both a teaching and a learning strategy? I'm going to say five things, and this will be interesting if I can think of all five. Um, but I think there are five things that are particularly poignant, particularly to the medical teaching setting. Um, number one is it really encourages the learners to own their learning um, and to be responsible for their learning. And that's important when you talk about professional learners. That is part of their, um, that ownership is so important. So, so that's the first thing. Um, Number two, it's an active learning strategy. It's actively engaging and colliding with that material. I'm a very tactile learner. It, it meets the needs of learners like that. Really does um, promote their collision with the material, um, which we know helps them remember it and understand it. Number three, particularly again for medical learners and for professional learners, it has them working in teams. So you think about the content and the skills that they acquire, but one of those skills is that ability to work in a team, which again in that professional setting is really unique, right? The second is we talk about interprofessional teamwork. You can do all kinds of different things with these teams. You can have varied levels of learners. You can have interprofessional learners. But at the very base, you just have a bunch of learners working together to teach and learn um, and collaborate. And it's really hinged upon that, that concept of collaboration. So it, professional learners should be working in teams. That's what they're going to do for the rest of their life. And it starts right there day one when you're in TBL. Um, number four is that it really gets you doing what you want your learners to be doing, which is applying the knowledge and skills in the session rather than just being lectured at. Um, but more than just active learning, they're actually applying it to concepts. So it works, again, really well in medical education because they're applying it to clinical scenarios, cases, um, you know, theoretical problems. Um, so you're working on application, application, application. And then I think the fifth thing is it really helps promote self-directed learning and the um, in creating an environment of inquiry in your learners. And we all want medical students and professional learners to be lifelong learners, this is an environment that sets you up and fosters challenging each other, discussing, debating, looking stuff up right there in the middle of learning. It, it's creating, we hope, promoting the creation of what we want our learners to be lifelong. I got all five. Those are the five things Wonderful. that I think make it fit. If somebody wants to get started learning about TBL, how do you recommend they begin? So um, if a person can attend a workshop, or a meeting, there's the team-based learning collaborative meeting. If a person's able to do something like that, that's the best way. Not everybody can do that. So attending local workshops, getting introduced, going and observing team-based learning sessions that are here on campus. We've got them going on in um, many of the clerkships, internal medicine every Thursday. We've got them going on in so many of the M1, M2 courses right now. Um, and going and actually watching them in a variety of settings. Um, go and watch it happen you know, up on whatever floors with 200 students. Go in and watch it happen with 32 students and watch the different variations. Um, and then the other thing I would say, the team-based learning collaborative website. You can go into another institution and watch it happen because we've got videos that are available to us. So you can watch it happen. You can watch Larry Michelson teaching using team-based learning or Paul Haydad or um, one of the other, um, Dean Parmalee, using it in another institution and watch that video and watch those students' reaction, hear those students' reaction. 
Um, and so you can get a visual. And then the team-based learning collaborative website has so many useful resources. Every time I go to it, I find another resource. I just found a great resource on orienting your students to team-based learning, which I don't think I've done as well as I should have. But now that I know that there's all these tools that somebody else has created, I'll be using them to orient my students. So um, even if you've been doing it for 15 years, um, the team-based learning collaborative website is an invaluable resource that you need to check frequently because they update their materials. Do you have any last words of wisdom for faculty who want to start using TBL in their teaching? Be very comfortable with the fact that you're going to feel very uncomfortable after the first session. Um, to that pr it's preparation, 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 um, and to enjoy it. It is the most fun style of teaching for me personally, um, although it feels really odd because it's not about you. It's about the learners, and it really is the teaching that um, I think meets my definition of what a teacher should be with adult learners, and this is a personal opinion, is that our job is to facilitate learning and to facilitate the acquisition of knowledge and skills, and that is exactly what you do in TBL.